Hi again, everyone. I'm Storm Shield Chief Meteorologist Brett Anthony with this edition of WeatherWise. And in this edition of WeatherWise, we're going to talk about something called cooling degree days or a way to measure how much air conditioning we need to stay cool. And since the middle part of June, we have really needed to stay cool as 11 times since the middle of June, we have been at least 97 degrees or hotter. So what is a cooling degree day? Well, a cooling degree day is the number of degrees a day's average temperature is above 65 degrees. 65 degrees is thought to be a temperature where we're neither too hot or we're too cool. So here's how you figure that out. Let's say the high temperature for the day is 90, the morning low is 70. That gives us an average temperature of 80 for the day and that equals 15 cooling degree days. And we start to add those cooling degree days up as we go through summer. And it's a good way to determine how much energy we need to cool a home or a business. It's also a great way to compare current summers to past summers. And we know this summer so far has been hotter. If you go back to June 1st, I'm starting at June 1st. And since June 1st through July 4th, we have used 603 cooling degree days. Last summer through the 4th of July, 556. And in 2014, just 445. So what that translates to, you can easily look at the average temperatures for those three periods and you'll find a correlation. But the bottom line is, is that likely when you get the energy bill this month, it's going to be about 8% higher than it was last June and as much as 35% higher as it was in 2014. That's reason enough to turn that thermostat up just a little bit, maybe to save a couple of extra dollars. But we know we're digging deeper in our pockets thanks to good old Mother Nature and some extensive and excessive heat. I'm Storm Shield Chief Meteorologist Brett Anthony. Have a great week.